Oh. I'm going to try to sit down here. I I just went to the doctor and had a had a shot and it made me feel like really woozy. I think I almost passed out, which I never had that. <laughs> I never had that before. Like it's pretty strange. So if I if I if I seem a little out of it today then sorry, that's why. But I will try to do my best here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So just, you know, basic review for anybody who might be new here. The purpose of this live weekly training is to teach you the latest and most effective customer acquisition skills and strategies to make money for yourself and others. Because if you have the ability to bring customers into businesses, that is probably the most valuable skill you could possibly have, at least in terms of making money. So we do the same time every week. It's always 6.30 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. That's 5.30 Central, 4.30 Mountain, 3.30 Pacific. And it's always the same place, dominatethemarketplace.net slash rainmakers. And so, I mean, if you want to if you want to put that in your calendar, set a reminder, whatever you got to do, it's same time, same place every week. Makes it easy to remember. We have a Facebook group. If anybody's not in the Facebook group yet, go to facebook.com slash group slash rainmakers live. Put that in the chat real quick. And cool. So let's go ahead and get started for today. So let me go ahead and we'll stop sharing and I'll share my whiteboard. So we've been working on this model for a few weeks now. See if it'll come up here. Okay. Yeah. So if we're working on the same model here. So if you've missed the last few weeks, no worries. But we're going to focus on the ad today. So the way the model works, and the, what this is, if anybody's not following here, is this is the fastest way to get leads for any business. And so this is the whole process, right? So the, the first part of the process is that somebody sees an ad. The ad says, hey, click on this ad in order to get some free thing. Could be a free ebook, could be a free coupon, could be just about anything that you can give out for free. They click on the ad, they go to an opt-in page. That's the second step here. And then on the opt-in page, they give their name and their email address in order to get the free thing. And then they go to the the next page where they get what's called the lead magnet. The lead magnet is the free thing that you're giving them in return for giving you their information. And then once you have their information, then you can start sending them emails as much as you want and you can keep sending it to them for free. So that's the benefit of having this lead model, right? You can, and you can reach out to them by calling. If you get their phone number, you can reach out to them various other ways. So, I I've, I've have this lead magnet circled, but really what we're going to focus on today is the ad. So if, you, if you're new, you probably have not created a lead magnet or an opt-in page. That's okay. We'll just consider that you have these available, right? And you can go back and create these later if you like. So we're going to go into how to do an ad. And specifically, I'm going to show you how to do Facebook ads not because Facebook ads are the best ad platform. I don't think they are. In fact, I think they're oversaturated. They're kind of expensive and, and there's definitely better platforms out there. However, they are fast. And so I promised you the fastest way to get leads. So here I'm going to show you Facebook ads. And if you understand one ad, ad platform, you kind of you kind of understand them all, right? It's If you learn one, then it's pretty easy to use the same principles for other ones. So, okay, and, and so, and by the way, the reason that I teach ads specifically, because there's a lot of way to get, ways to get customers, right? You could get them from posting on, on Instagram, or you could get them on for, by reaching out to people, like sending people cold messages. You could do, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can get people. You can get people to, they're searching to come to your website, right? There's a whole bunch of ways, but Ads are nice because one, they're really fast to start getting results, and two, they're predictable, 
right? Whereas if you start posting on Instagram, you're just kind of hoping that the Instagram algorithm is going to pick up your, your post and start showing it to people, which a lot of times it doesn't, or it takes like a long time for you to warm up the algorithm for it to happen. Whereas with ads, you can kind of just say, okay, I'm going to spend 10 bucks on this ad and it's going to show it to a thousand people or whatever it is. And you kind of, it's very predictable. And then once you figure out, okay, every time I spend, let's say $50, I get a sale. Well, once you have that number, well, now you just say, hey, I want five sales. So you put what's $50 times five, I put $250 into the system. And then I get my five sales. And hopefully those sales are more, let's say the sales are worth $100. So you just stick $250 into ads and you take out hundred or $500 worth of sales. It's like a, a ATM machine where you put in $1 and you get $2 out. So that's the idea here. That's what we're going for. So with that, let me, let me get out of this and share my screen again. So the way I'm gonna do it this time is I'm going to go over kind of the theory behind this, the just, and this is gonna be very basic by the way, because there's a lot to writing good ads. And I, for the sake of time, I, I really can't go through a whole lot just in this meeting, but I'm gonna go through kind of the basics. I'm gonna give you the theory first, like what you need to include. And then I'm actually gonna demonstrate it for you. I'm gonna, we're gonna put together a Facebook ad together. So. Does that sound good? Everybody with me? Give me a one in the chat if that sounds good to you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Esther. Cool. So let's get started. So in marketing, generally speaking, it, it, actually, let me ask you guys, what do you... How do you normally feel about people who advertise? Like if you're on Facebook or YouTube or you're watching TV and a commercial comes up, how do you feel generally positive towards that ad or do you feel generally negative? You're like, you're like, oh, I'm so glad they advertised to me or you're more like, this is annoying. I wish that they would, this ad would go away so that I could get back to watching the thing that I actually wanna watch. If you're like most people, probably your answer is the second thing, right? So you can be, there's a, basically the dichotomy is you can be a welcome guest or an annoying pest. And most of the time, advertisers are this, they're a annoying pest. And I'll tell you a story that I heard from Dan Kennedy recently, who's a famous advertising guru, that he's he was doing something, he was watching TV or something, I don't remember exactly, and somebody started knocking on his door, and this was like in the middle of the day, and he thought, well, anybody who's walk knocking on my door in the middle of the day is not going to be somebody I really want to talk to. And so he just ignored him, he thought, okay... This guy is, he, he automatically said, this guy is an annoying pest, right? And so I'm just going to ignore him and hopefully he'll go away. And because that's what annoying pests usually do. If you ignore them, they go away. Well, the guy kept knocking and he kept knocking harder. And Dan Kennedy's is like getting annoyed, but he's still not answering the door. He's like, well, if I ignore this guy, he'll, he'll go away. Well, eventually... The guy gave up on knocking and decided to go around the house over like a 10 foot concrete wall with shards of glass sticking up at the top, which is exactly for the purpose of discouraging that sort of behavior and goes around to the back door and then starts pounding on the back door. And so finally he, he has enough and he goes and says, okay, what do you want? And the guy says, the whole front of your house is on fire. Like his, the bushes or something in the front of his house were on fire. In that moment, this, this guy went from being the most annoying pest to the most welcome guest. And the reason for that is because he had the right message for the right person at the right time. 
right? If your house is on fire, you probably want to know that. And you probably want to know at the time that it is on fire as soon as possible so that you can go and put out the fires as fast as you can. So in order to be, for us as marketers, we want to do the same thing. We want to be have the right message for the right person at the right time, right? That's what's going to make us a welcome guest rather than an annoying pest. So if you think about it, you've probably gotten a lot of marketing messages and most of them are annoying. But if it was the right message for you at the right time, like the time that you needed it, then all of a sudden the advertisement was interesting to you, right? And so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, as much as we possibly can, get the right message to the right person at the right time. Okay, so how do we do that? Oh, and by the way, we talking about Facebook ads, it, different advertising mes methods are better or worse for these things. Facebook ads are good for getting the right message to the right person, right? Because Facebook knows a lot about people and knows about your interests by, based on like what pages you're watching and what, what you're hitting like on and what you're commenting on. And it knows a lot, like it knows where you live and it knows how old you are and it knows a bunch of stuff about you. So it knows who the person is and it probably knows what you're interested in. So it can help you get the right message. It can't really help you with the right time because it doesn't know what you're doing or what you're looking for, what you're interested in any particular moment in time. It knows your general interests. And if you know, um, I, I like YouTube ads a lot better than Facebook ads. Part of the reason is because YouTube ads, I can include this element, the right time, because YouTube is owned by Google and the same it's on the same ad platform and Google knows what everybody is looking for pretty much all the time. What you're typing into YouTube, what you're typing into Google search. Plus, Google owns Google Analytics, which is a software that's that runs on more than half of the web pages on the internet. And so it can like it Google even knows what websites you're browsing. Even if you don't go through Google, even if you go directly to the website if the website is running Google Analytics, which most of them are, then Google knows that about you. <laughs> so Google knows a heck of a lot. And it's a little bit scary, but as an advertiser, that's very good to know. So I can get with Google ads, I can get the right message to the right person at the right time. With Facebook ads, we're kind of stuck with just these two. But if we run the ads enough, then just because of statistics, sometimes we're going to get the right time. Okay. So that said, there are three components, like three main components to a Facebook ad that I want to go over here. There's, there's a lot more to it than I'm going to go over right here, but this is the most important parts we're going to go over. So the first is the image, right? If you think about what a Facebook ad looks like, Usually, and there's multiple different formats, but the normal one and the, the one that's the easiest to put together, which is why it's the one that I'm teaching, is just like a picture with some text over it and a button, right? So the image is the picture. The second component is the copy, which copy is just a fancy way of saying the words. Like copy means writing, like words that are written to persuade somebody. So the words that you use are the copy, and then the final element, which you don't see on the front end, is the targeting. That is, who are you showing the ads to? Who, who are the persons that are receiving your ads? And so you can target people based on a lot of different things. So for each of these, I'm gonna go over kind of some of the, some of the main points here. So the image, is its main purpose is to grab attention of the right person. Uh, Vivian, yes, I'll be sharing the recording. Or actually, I should say, uh, I'll put up the recording on my YouTube channel. And if you want it, just send me an email. So the image, 
the job of the image is to grab attention from the right person. So it should be something, hopefully, that's out of the ordinary or something that actually people want to look at. It grabs their attention. It doesn't have to sell them, just grab attention. It can include text, right? So you can have just a pure image that's just a picture of something, or you can have a picture that has text over it. Either one is fine. Can be AI generated. These are kind of cool these days because AI can do such amazing pictures. You can have AI generated pictures that will maybe are very striking or weird in some way and they get attention. And then favorite, my favorite tool for this is favorite tool is something called Canva, which I will demonstrate for you in just a moment. So that's that's the main part of the image. And then for copy, you want to basically you want to get attention. So the and that's kind of shared with the image. The image job is to get attention. And then also like the first line of the text is also to get attention. Once you get the person's attention, attention, they should keep reading at which point you build interest. You get them interested in whatever you have to offer. And then finally, there is a call to action or CTA, which is just saying, hey, if you want this free thing, then click the link below. That's your call to action. And then for targeting, we have a bunch of different ways to target people. The, basically, it falls into two categories. There is one called demographics, which just means what are the basic characteristics of the person? Like, what's their age group? Where where do they live? Are they married? Do they have kids? Are they male or female, etc.? Those are those are the basic things. Those are the demographics. And then we also have psychographics, which psychographics are the the characteristics of a person that are more related to their personality and their interest. So person uh, psychographics would be like what movies do they like? What do they like to do? What political parties do they follow? What influencers do they like, etc. Like there's the stuff all about their interests and their personality. So targeting basically comes down to choosing people based on their demographics and psychographics that are going to be your ideal customer. Oh, and demographics also includes income, by the way. So that's something that we, we probably want to consider as we're doing our targeting, which brings me to, there are basically there are three questions to figure out, to figure out what, like if a group is good to target or if they're going to be good customers, there are three questions. Question number one is, can I help them? Right? Chances are your well, depending on what kind of offer you have, you may or may not be, you probably have some people that you can help and some people that you can't help. Right? So for example, I have a, an offer where I run YouTube ads for businesses. Well, I know that YouTube ads work really well for some businesses, but they don't work so well for other businesses. So I want to show my ads ideally only to those businesses or owners of those businesses that I can help, not the ones that I can't help. Are they interested? That's the second question. Well, maybe I can help the person, but the person just isn't interested, right? So think about like it, maybe if you help people lose weight, Yes, you can help somebody lose weight, but if the person doesn't want to lose weight, then they're not going to be interested in your offer. And then the third one is, can they pay, right? Can they afford what you have to sell? Because they could be super interested, you could be totally able to help them, but if they're not able to pay for the product, then clearly you're not going to get the sale. So that's what to consider with targeting. So any, any questions on this so far? I'm going, this is kind of the theory behind it. And now I'm going to get into how to actually do it. Cool, cool. So let's go over to Canva. Actually, I'm going to use my other browser here. And 
And if you need to design anything or like create social media posts, anything like that, Canva is amazing. So I'm going to go with this Instagram post square because Facebook ads generally like a square format, I believe, if I remember that correctly. And then, so it's just giving me a blank thing. And so now I have to come up with a image. So actually, does anybody here have a product that, or does anybody here have a lead magnet that you're already working with that I can, maybe I can use for an, just an example? If not, I can just use the same example I used last week, which was a product for scientists to get their message out to the public. So if I don't see one, I'll just go with that. So that one, yes, yeah, is you have these people that are that are sitting in a lab, they're doing research, and they're all they're always in this university setting and some of them break out and become super popular with the public. If you think like Andrew Huberman, for example, or Bruce Lipton, those guys that became very popular, like that a lot of scientists would like to be able to do that, but it's not, most of them don't know how to do it. So, so I'm gonna use that one. It's a, like, it's a free ebook to show scientists how to present their ideas to the public in a way that normal, non-academic, non-scientific people can understand. So let's, I'm going to go over to, I think it was Magic Media, and I'm going to do a AI image here. So I'm gonna say, let's say a scientist in a white lab coat, trying dramatically in a chemistry lab and generate image. If you've never used these AI image generators, they're amazing. This is like the coolest thing ever. Okay, I like this last one. This one, uh, this, he looks the most unhappy. <laughs> Perfect. So this is my sad scientist. He's very unhappy because nobody is, is learning about his work and he's unfulfilled in his job. So perfect. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Just call it scientist. Cool. So I got the image part. So let's go over to face or no, not regular Facebook. I want Facebook ads, which I already got up here. And I'm going to create a new campaign. I'm going to go through this really fast, by the way, just because if I, you know, if, if I spend a lot of time on every part, it's going to be really slow. Okay, so I want leads and I'll use recommended set. No, yeah, I'll use recommended just for the sake of time. Okay, so I'll give it a name, it's like scientist, example, categories, none of those, cool, next, and, oh, so it's, I got to give it a website, so that means yeah, where I'm going to generate leads. Okay. You can actually have a lead form. The website would be like an opt-in page. You can have the lead form within Facebook. I'm going to just do that. Conversion event, lead, and leave those all standard. Let's say $5 a day. I always like to start with really small budgets 
And then I can test kind of what works and what doesn't work before I go and spend any significant amount of money on it. And then, that's all good. Okay, and then, okay, so now I have to, I have to select the targeting. So, oh, and they've changed things since last time I've been in here. I haven't, I haven't set up a Facebook campaign in a little while here. And they keep changing the way that they do it. So, okay. Audience suggestion is interesting. Ah, okay. So this is what I'm what I'm looking for. Demographics, interests, or behaviors. So let's see. I can find scientist. Okay. Job title scientist. That's pretty cool. Or I could do research scientist, senior scientist, biomedical scientist. So let's just go with scientist. If you look at the size here, that, that shows how many people are in that category. So 200,000 people, that's a pretty good audience size. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. So I'm going to show it to anyone who is a scientist. I might set the age range a little higher. Let's start at like 27. So I don't think there's any 18 year old that's really a scientist. And then, okay, so that's good. I'll click on next and then we'll put together the actual ad itself. So we got the targeting here and now we put together the actual ad. And wait, add. And okay, add media. So this is gonna be the image that we just created in Canva. I'm going to upload from here, scientist. Next. Okay, that's not perfect, but for the sake of time, we'll skip that part. Okay, cool. So this is what our ad looks like so far. This is the preview over here. And there's a bunch of different formats, right? Like. So Facebook ads show on both Facebook and Instagram because it's the same platform. So it's gonna show me what it looks like on the Facebook feed, what it looks like on the Instagram feed. This is what it looks like in Instagram stories. Like there's a bunch of different places where it puts the ad. So our primary text is the text that's at the top. This is the most important part. So I'll do that first. So let's say, sick of putting in years of research for no one to ever ever see your work so this is in fact i could even i could even qualify here so like are you a scientific researcher who's sick of putting years of research putting in years of research for no one to ever see your work right so this is my hook this is where i'm trying to get attention and then i'm going to keep writing this out it's like and i'm going to normally I'd, I'd write this fairly long but i'm going to just for the sake of time keep this short well, I have good news for you. It doesn't have to be that way. We've discovered a method for any scientist or academic 
to get your research discovered by the masses. This is the same process that people like Dr. Andrew Huberman and Dr. Bruce Lipton have used to go from obscure academics, actually let's say little known, little known researchers, let's say. Try to use simple language as much as I can to best-selling authors, just say best-selling authors. If you want to learn for free, click the link below, get our free ebook. We'll show you how to do just that. Okay, so that's pretty good for my primary text. And if you look at the, the what do you call it, preview up here, then you see like this first line, it shows in the immediately. And then to see the rest, you have to click on see more and then they can see the whole thing. So this is purely off the top of my head, by the way. So obviously this could be better, but this is just, it's something to get, get us something out the door. And so maybe my headline is the, maybe it's the name of the ebook, like, like uh, communicating to the masses for scientists and academics. And maybe I say free ebook. Communicating the masses for scientists and academics. And then my description. Let's see, where does that show up? It doesn't really seem to show up anywhere, does it? And then description. Let me, let's just copy and paste that here. There we go, okay, so, oh, it just happened. It showed up and then it disappeared again. I think it's supposed to show up where it says the personal injury professionals down there, but it just, it showed up for a second and then it disappeared. Yeah, I think there's a issue with the way this looks. Anyway, yeah, so where it says the personal injury professionals, it should show this. So we'll just leave as is for now. Call to actions, just whatever the whatever the button is. So learn more, that's fine. And then website URL. This is where we tell them where we want to send them to. So let's say our site is scientist. Or let's let's say like famous scientist.com won't be subtle about it and then cool browser add-ons now tracking okay and then i will go ahead and hit publish and then this will go ahead and run as an ad so that's it that was actually pretty easy we just went through the whole thing let me look at my notes and see if I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not missing anything. So that's it. We just created a Facebook ad. And as of doing that, now we have completed the whole process for how to get leads. Now I should, I mean, I should mention that there's a lot more to creating ads that, like this and especially ads that work, right? Cause it's one thing to put together an ad, but it's another thing to make it actually work. So there's a bunch of things that I like to do. Like I'll make, I, I won't just run one ad ever. I'll always make a whole bunch of different variations of the ad. I'll try running the different variations to different targeting groups and 
usually run it with a small amount of money for each one so that I can see before I've spent very much money, I can see which ones are working, which ones are not working. I'll just turn off the ones that aren't working and keep the ones that are working. And then we also, you know, there's setting up tracking, which is a whole other thing and retargeting people. So that's so that you, you can reach people multiple times and the tracking is so that you can see when somebody has actually downloaded your free ebook right so you can see there's this many people clicked on the ad and and this many people actually downloaded the ebook and then this number of people actually bought the product and you can see that all in the ads dashboard which is get out of this real quick which is right here turn that one off and so you'll you'll be able to see all these numbers will show you how the ad is performing so that's it. Let me go back over here and give you our action items for today. So action number, item number one is to create an ad image in Canva. And again, if you have a lead magnet already, then create it for the lead magnet that you have. If you don't, that's okay. Just come up with an idea for one. So maybe you have an idea for a business that you've always wanted to start or you've always thought about starting. And so think, what what can I do for that business? So, and it doesn't have to be an ebook. It, it could be like the easiest one is just a coupon. So let's say that you have a restaurant and you've always wanted to have a, to start a, a Chinese pizza restaurant, for example then you could have a an opt-in or a lead magnet that's just 20% off your first order. That's a really simple one. So create an ad in Canva of, in this case, probably what your pizza is gonna look like or whatever, something that's relevant to your product that's gonna get people's attention and get the right people's attention. And then, write ad copy for that ad. And so that's the part that we did where we just write out the text. So in our case, are you a scientist who wants to get your stuff out to the masses? You know, and then optional, third step is actually run an ad. So this is it, only if you actually have the lead magnet, you have the rest of this process that's built out, then go ahead and run your ad. Otherwise, just do steps one and two, right? That's fine. And if you want, share them in the Facebook group. That would be pretty cool because then we can all see them and learn from each other and give our feedback. And so that's it for now. I have, I have actually something kind of interesting to run by you, but before I do that, any questions on this? Cool, cool. Hopefully this all made sense. Okay, cool. So what I've got to run by you is an, an offer for something that I think you guys might find pretty cool. And if you don't, then no worries at all, no obligation. If you wanna just not listen to me at all, then then you're you're more than welcome to. But what I'm doing is, a, if you've known, if you've been following me at all, you know that I really like YouTube ads. YouTube ads are, are a much bigger deal for me than Facebook ads. And I only showed you Facebook ads today because I, I promised that I would show you the fastest way to get leads. Now the fastest is not necessarily the best, but you can get it up and running really quick. YouTube ads take a little bit longer, but they're a much better opportunity. And so what I do is I am, I just started doing this actually, is teaching people how to learn the skill of YouTube ads. So I'm gonna teach you, it's not something quick and dirty like this, it's I'm gonna teach you everything step by step exactly how to do it not just how to run ads but how to run ads effectively 
which is a big difference, right? Because just learning to put an ad up and running, it, any anybody can do that. But to get one that actually works is a much more difficult. And it goes back to being the welcome guest versus the annoying pest that we talked about earlier. Most people are not very good at this. Most people that try to advertise are the annoying pest. I'm going to show you how to be a welcome guest. Chances are, if you're listening to me right now, then you found me because of a YouTube ad at some point. You may not remember, but the vast majority of the people that have, have gotten into my universe here have come from YouTube ads. This has absolutely transformed my life. I've made a lot of money on YouTube ads, and I know that whatever business I, I want to get into, I can... I can promote that business. I can get that business off the ground fast by using YouTube ads. And so that's very helpful for me as a business owner, but also means that I can help other businesses create YouTube ads. So if you are interested in a, about the fastest way to have your own successful business imaginable, well, just help other businesses with their YouTube ads. And it's a extremely valuable skill. It's extremely valuable service for the people that you're helping because every business owner, just about every business owner's biggest challenge is how to get more customers. And so if you can help another business owner to get, let's say, $100,000 worth of sales, well, do you think that they would pay you $10,000 to get them $100,000? Well, of course they would. Right. So that's why this skill is so valuable. You can, if you learn this, you can pretty much write your own check. So let me show you what I'm going to go over in this. And I'll just write it out here. So this is this program is called YouTube Ads Mastery. And so the first thing that I'm going to teach you is how to understand your market. This is something that most advertisers have no idea about, but it makes a huge difference. If you just try to throw stuff against the wall, you put ads out there and hope that people respond to them. Well, yeah, sometimes they will, but most of the time they won't. On the other hand, if you can actually research the people that you are trying to talk to and figure out what motivates them, right? What are their goals? What are their deepest desires? What are their fears? What are their frustrations? What are the challenges that they're working on or that they're they're dealing with? If you can understand that before you start creating your ads, then your ads are gonna have so much better impact, right? Because you're gonna know, back to this again, you're gonna have the right message for the right person. So understand your market. Then I'm after that, I'm gonna show you how to create the ads, right? That is how to create the right message that you just figured out in step one. So I'm gonna show you how to create the ads and I'm going to, and these are YouTube video ads, by the way, but you don't necessarily have to get on camera. You don't have to use your own voice. There are ways around that, which you can't, you can do either way. You can do it yourself. I usually do it myself, but you can also use AI voices. You can even, just get a spokesman to do it for you. There's a bunch of ways to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to create the ads. I'm gonna show you how to set up campaigns. So that has to do with the targeting, going back to the right person, make sure that, and the right time actually, because YouTube ads targeting is better than Facebook ads targeting because you can, rather than just targeting towards a certain person that has this interest, you can target to a person who is looking for this particular thing, right? So in our scientist example, I can run YouTube ads to people who are searching, searching on Google saying how to write a book about science or like how to reach, how to become popular as a science. There's people that are searching these things every single day and I can target them directly at the time that they're searching for these things, at the time that they're interested in it. So right message, right person, right time. We can we can check off all three of those bases. So I'm going to show you how to set up campaigns. I'm going to show you how to analyze and tweak. That is how to understand the numbers. If you look at the ads dashboard, you have, well, there's no numbers here because I'm not running anything, but you have, well, let me show you on, on YouTube, actually. 
So you have a whole bunch of numbers here. So I have this many impressions and this much cost and this many conversions. And it's extremely confusing unless you know specifically what all of those numbers mean. And so I'm going to show you how to dig through those numbers and know how your ad is doing and how to use that information to tweak. That is to figure out which parts of the process are performing well, which parts of the process are not performing so well. And so what do we need to modify? Like what parts do we need to modify? Which ads do we leave on? Which ones do we turn off, et cetera? I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. And then I'm going to show you finally how to get clients to pay you. So this is not relevant if you have your own business with your own product, but if you're looking to do this for other businesses, I'm gonna show you how to find paying clients that will pay you to run YouTube ads for them, right? And actually, even if you have your, your own product that you wanna advertise, I recommend that you go through this part anyway, just because this is such an amazing business. Like if you think about r running YouTube ads for biz for other businesses is much better business on its own than just about anything else. Because if you think about it, you don't need a store, you don't need a location, you don't need much of any startup capital. You, you have complete freedom. It's completely online. You can do it from anywhere you want in the world and you're extremely valuable. So you can make a lot of money doing this and once you have a YouTube ad up and running for a client, it takes some work on the front end, but once you have it up and running, well, now you're just getting paid month after month after month, and you're not really having to do much of anything. So it's really easy to keep increasing the number of clients that you have, and you're just increasing the amount of money that's just coming in on autopilot. So it's really an amazing business model. So maybe you'll watch that and think, well, you know, what, what am I doing trying to bust my butt working in a restaurant 16 hours a day when I could be doing this, this business model, I can switch to this, I could be making more money and working less time and having more freedom, having a better life, right? So I, I recommend that everybody pay attention to step five, whether you have a business or not. Now, you don't need any kind of fancy tech skills. You don't need any video editing skills. Even if you've never recorded a video in your life, you can do this. I'm gonna show you how to do all of those things. And it's very simple, by the way. I'm not, this is not Hollywood studio level editing. It's, it's very simple because you don't need to be the Hollywood studio. People respond to authenticity. And if you're, if you're too polished and corporate, well, people's eyes glaze over. It actually works against you. So you don't need anything special. You don't need any equipment, You except for you need a computer and you need a camera. And so a smartphone video camera works just fine. And then you, you're gonna need something to hold the camera and you're gonna need a light source too. So you can just put it on a pile of books and have a lamp in the background if you want, or you can go on Amazon for 20 bucks. You can buy one of those ring lights that has a phone holder in it. Those work amazing and they're cheap. So other than that, you don't need a fancy camera. You don't need any kind of fancy lighting or anything, any equipment. You don't need to be on video. Like I said, if you're not comfortable being on video, then you can get somebody to do, to do it for you. There's a whole bunch of those people out there that'll work for pretty cheap, that'll record the video for you, or you can get AI to do it for basically free. And then, and then so, so this, the reason that I like this a lot, as opposed to other opportunities, is that it's just about the quickest way that you can possibly make money. Because if you think about to have any business, is th there's basically two parts. There is a product plus promotion, right? So you have to have the product, the thing that you sell to people, and then you have the promotion. You have to get it in front of them and get them to buy it. Right. That's the same with any business. And in order to make money in any in which business is just a method of making money, that's what it is. Ultimately, you need a thing to sell and you need a way to sell it. Those are the two things that you need. And so if you have a thing to sell, but you have no way to sell it, you're not going to get any sales and you don't have a business. 
At the same time, if you're really good at selling stuff, but you don't have anything to sell, again, you don't have a business because like th there's nothing to sell. So what we've done here essentially is we made the product and the promotion the same thing. The promotion, the product is YouTube ads, right? You are running YouTube ads for customers. Again, this is, unless you have your own product already, which is a, another case, but if you want to run YouTube ads for customers, then that is your product. The YouTube ads are your product. And then at the same time, promotion, you can do via YouTube ads, right? You promote your business with YouTube ads. So you're learning one skill that covers both categories. Your product is YouTube ads, your promotion are YouTube ads. So it's just about the fastest business that you can possibly get off the ground. And a lot of people are doing this, by the way. But if you've ever heard of a SMMA, a, what is it, Social Media Marketing Agency, that's what this is. But the thing with that is that everybody in SMMA, for some reason that I do not understand, everybody is focused on Facebook ads, 100%. And so you can be... in. in a lot of people have made money doing that, by the way. I'm not knocking it. It's just that you can be really, really good at running Facebook ads and send a message to some business owner saying, hey, I'll run Facebook ads for you. And then the guy will be like, yeah, that's the, the 12th time I've heard that today. Because the whole world is trying to be a Facebook ad agency. And for some reason, they're all focused on Facebook ads and they're not diversifying, whereas if you learn this, you can be in a completely blue ocean where there's basically zero competition. Nobody's trying to do this for now. I mean, five years from now, it might be a different story. The people that got into Facebook ads agency five years ago killed it. They made a ton of money. But now it's really, really difficult because there's so much competition. With YouTube ads, it's, it's nothing like that, right? This is like Facebook ads was five years ago. So if you're interested, I'm going to show you how to do every part of this process. You're also going to get templates and worksheets to fill out every part of this and to understand the numbers, et cetera. Like I've taken every part that I could do myself and done it for you. And so the price of everything here is $5,000. However, right now I am... I offered a special to my first cohort, that is the first people to go through the program because I'm building it out one week at a time. And technically the first cohort isn't done yet. We're at lesson, I think lesson five out of eight, it's an eight week program and we're at lesson five. So because it's not done yet, I'm gonna give you the same promotion that I offered to them, which is just 9.97 with a testimonial. So what that means is, if you'll agree that you will, when you finish the program, you will give me a testimonial telling me what you thought of the program, and when you get your first client or your first sale, depending on whether you're running this for your own business or you're running, them, running it for clients, you will send me a message telling me that you got your first client or your first sale and then you will let me make a screenshot of that message. I'll blank out, I'll, I'll black out your last name so that I'm respecting your privacy, but I want a screenshot of your message that I can use in my marketing from then on, right? Because this is something that's brand new. And if I have that screenshot, that testimonial, the proof that it's, that it's working and people like it, I mean, then th that's... I mean, that's worth a lot more than the additional $4,000 to me, right? So it's only $9.97 if you are willing to give me a testimonial. So if you're interested, I'll go ahead and grab that link for you. That is dominatethemarketplace.net slash YouTube ads mastery. And then if you want to get this discount, if you want to do this deal where you give me the testimonial and get it for $9.97, just use the coupon code FIRST. And that will reduce the price on that page. 
So with that, I'm going to go ahead and switch to questions. Anybody have any questions on either what we just went over or the lesson? And by the way, if you're watching this in the recording and you're wondering if you can still get the same offer, try the coupon code. If it works, that means it's still available. If it doesn't work, then I'm sorry, it means you missed it. Guys are quiet today. Let's see, anything else I can add about this? Can payment be made in installments? I was thinking about that actually. I did not set that up, but yeah, I, you know what? I had even made a, a note to myself to set that up. Yeah, I can do, I can do four installments of two ninety seven. Four by two ninety seven. That would be four monthly payments of two ninety seven. But I, I don't have that available right now. You'd have to give me a few minutes to actually set that up in my payment processor. Awesome. Well, actually, I might as well just do that now because while I'm waiting for questions. Let me see. I've done this so many times now, I've gotten pretty fast at it. Oh, and by the way, we have a, a Facebook group for this particular program as well. Or I'm sorry, not a Facebook group, a Telegram group. So if you need any help, if you want support anywhere along the way, then I will. I'm always looking at the Telegram group. If anybody has questions, I'm always answering people's questions. So there is support involved here. Okay, here we go. Work. Okay, so that should be the link for the payment plan option. 
And so once you sign up, you should get an email that has your link to the member 